here's a very basic yeast donut dough. And you can do a lot of things with this, and I will show you a few things once the dough is made we start making the donuts. But first we have to proof the yeast, make sure it's alive. So I have here one cup of whole milk that I've heated till it's warm, not boiling, just warm, and a quarter of a cup of also warm water. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of sugar to that. That's gonna be the food for our yeast. And then I'm going to put in four teaspoons of yeast. I buy my yeast in bulk. Um, it's far cheaper than buying those envelopes. One of those envelopes is equal to about two and a quarter teaspoons of uh, yeast. So gauge it by that because you need four for this recipe. And then I'm just going to mix it up with a little whisk here just to get it started. And now we've got to just let this sit for about five, six, seven minutes until it starts getting foamy and then we can proceed. It's been about five minutes and our yeast is definitely working. You can see it's, it's like a little craters of the moon. So we're gonna start with the dough. And in my mixer bowl, I'm going to put in three and a half ounces, which is like seven tablespoons of melted butter. That's been, you know, I melted it and I let it cool a little bit. I don't want it too warm because that'll kill the yeast. Okay, there's that. And to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar and I'm going to add four, uh, three whole eggs. I don't need to do it on the mixer. I'm just trying to get these blended a little bit. Okay, to that, I'm gonna add my yeast mixture. Get it all in there. Let those little guys work. Mix that around. And now I have four and three quarter cups of all purpose flour. And I'm just gonna put all of that right in. And now I'm gonna put this on my mixer. With the dough hook. And I'm going to mix this until it nicely comes together as a nice cohesive dough. And this could take three, four minutes. that's enough on the mixer for now. It's about five minutes. And I've got a nice large bowl here. With, I'm going to spray with canola oil or any kind of a, a nice spray that's going to keep your dough from sticking. You can do shortening, vegetable oil, whatever you want. Now I'm going to take this off. And get this out. Just a nice, soft, pliable dough. It just feels nice. And now I'm going to put it into that bowl. I'm gonna cover it with some plastic wrap. You can cover it with a tea towel, or if you have a proofer, which I don't have, you can do that. And we're gonna let this sit in a warm room, room temperature, for about an hour before we can proceed with the donuts. So. I'll see you back in an hour. Here's our basic donut dough, all nicely risen. You can see how nice and puffy and full of air it is. Now we're going to roll them out and start cutting them. Flour up the board and just break that seal. Ah, beautiful dough, beautiful dough. Now what we wanna do is we wanna roll them to approximately half an inch thickness and then start cutting them. What I'm gonna make are two kinds of donuts out of this dough. I'm going to make a filled donut and I'm going to make a glazed donut. 
Okay, that's about where I want it. Got my round cutters. And I have a sheet pan that's dusted with flour. I got parchment paper on it. You can use wax paper. You don't have to use parchment paper, which is kind of expensive. If you want to, you can try to re-roll this dough and use it again, but it really, it doesn't come out as well. And I'd rather have fewer good donuts than more bad ones. Not that they'd be bad, they just wouldn't be quite as light. And how many donuts can you eat in one day anyway, unless you're having a party? Let me see what we got here. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got fourteen donuts. So we're gonna do half and half. Seven and seven. We'll do. These will be the filled ones. They'll just be like a big giant ball. And I will then fill them with well, we'll see. Alright, there's our seven to be filled donuts. Another sheet for the glaze. So now we want a little hole taken out. And we're gonna keep those little donut holes because they're gonna make, you can fill the donut holes too, or you can just roll them in sugar, regular sugar, powdered sugar, um, cinnamon sugar, whatever. Maybe we'll do a few of each. These now are going to have to rise again, but they don't have to rise as long as they did the first time. Um, this will be perhaps 20, 15 to 20 minutes until they get nice and puffy. And then we will get a fryer and we will fry these. Two more to go. That one there. And there we go. We've got 14 donuts. I'm going to let them rise for about 15, 20 minutes. Give me time to clean up this mess. And then we'll come back, we'll fry them. And then after they cool, we'll fill them. We're ready to start frying our donuts. My oil is heating at approximately 375. And here are our ones we're gonna glaze and here are the ones we're gonna fill. Let's start with one of these. It's probably gonna take about two minutes per side. I think that first donut is about done. I'm going to remove it. You can see how nice and puffy it got. Now we're going to do one of these. And we're frying approximately a minute, minute and a half per side. Again, 375 degrees. You can see as soon as they hit the hot oil, they kind of expand. While this one is still warm, I'm going to roll it in some sugar. I'm not going to do that to all of them. I'm going to do it to some of them, but I want to do it while they're still warm. Okay, I'll just put that over there to cool down. Here's one of these, 
and I'm just going to keep on frying and I'll show you what they look like when we get ready to start glazing them and filling them. Okay, fun part. Time to decorate the donuts. I've got some chocolate glaze here and this is merely chocolate bits, a little bit of butter, some light corn syrup and a little bit of water and I microwaved it and whipped it until it's smooth. The uh, exact ingredients will be on the website if you want to go there and get them because you don't have to make a chocolate glaze. You can make a vanilla glaze or you can make any kind of glaze you want. So I'm going to take a donut, put it in the glaze, give it a good shake around. Look at that. How lovely is that? You can put some sprinkles on if you wish. You don't have to. I personally would prefer it without sprinkles. So I will make some without. Lovely. How much fun is it to make your own donuts, you know? Mm. Chocolate all over me. And now what I've done is used a Ziploc bag. I put a piping tip in, the, in it, put some raspberry jam. And now I'm going to take one of these donuts, make a hole in the side and just squeeze in some jam. We have a jam filled donut. And you know, you can do these with the holes too. So you have a jam filled mini donut. And it doesn't have to be raspberry jam. It could be your favorite jam. It can be anything you want. It could be pudding. Do another one of these. And there you go. Fun with donuts. This is one basic donut dough that you can do just about anything with.